Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and today we're going to be talking about Mora's multi-mount sheath system. Uh, I really enjoy this sheath. Uh, I plan to show you how to attach it to Molly webbing along with some other of its mounting features, so stay tuned. Alright, so when it comes to the Mora multi-mount sheath system, it comes uh, in its most basic form. It comes just like you would expect any other Mora. Uh, it's a molded plastic sheath. Uh, it has a nice belt loop. This one isn't, uh, this is like a leather or a, it's a soft loop. Usually you get a molded plastic belt loop, but this one's a lot softer and pliable than your normal Mora belt loops. And so in the most basic form, you still have the friction fit that you get in all the other Moras. Uh, this one is ambidextrous, so it does go in for left hand or right hand carry. And so that's a new feature. But another option is you can remove this belt loop because even though the friction fit does work well, if one good shake and it will come out. Okay, and so you can remove this belt loop and you can replace it with a button closure so that uh, it's not coming out. There's nothing you can do to lose this knife now. And so if you're worried about losing your knife or falling out of its sheath, uh, you can use this button closure instead of the belt loop. Uh, I wish they would have formed this sheath better so that you could mount both of them because this one fits in here but it's loose. Uh, it doesn't snap in place. Uh, so I wish they would have given you the opportunity to use and snap in both. Uh, but as of right now, you can't. You have to pick one or the other. And so they could have designed it where you could have picked one or the other or both, but that's not a feature that they have yet. Hopefully in the future, uh, maybe they'll see this video and uh, they'll provide a way to have both uh, in future sheaths. Uh, but the main focus uh, is this multi-mount part of the sheath. Now this multi-mount part, uh, it has a lot of different holes in it basically. And you're, it's got a small two small slits here to run this Mora Velcro through to help protect or to help hold the sheath in place. And so you can run the loop through the top hole and then this seats in the bottom. And you snap that closed. You use your Velcro retention. The tighter you get this Velcro, the more secure the sheath is in place uh, and so then now you have all these slots now there's two slots here so that you can strap it to random things there's these three slots here that are make it molly compatible and then there's three uh, holes here so that you can screw this thing to a wall inside your home or uh, in your vehicle you can go under the steering column or on your uh, center console you can mount this straight to an object and then when you want to use the knife you can just simply pull it out of the mounting system and you can have the knife itself or you can swap collars and turn it into a belt knife so they put a lot of thought in the mounting features on here so now let's show you how I use the Molly function uh, because that's the one that I couldn't find like I, I tried and I looked a lot of different places before I finally figured out how to use this molly so let's take a look at that all right so I just have my medical pouch here uh, just to show you guys now when it comes to these three mounts here they're flush with the back of the sheath system so you're not going to be able to use any molly clips uh, which was kind of disappointing, but once I figured out how to use this, uh, it's a very fast and very easy way 
to mount this to a sheath system. Now, it comes with a uh, hook and loop uh, Velcro, I guess. I call it hook and loop. So the hard side is the hook and the soft side is the loop. And so basically what you're going to do when you use the Molly is you're going to take the soft side of the loop and you're going to put it through your first piece of webbing just like that there. And then you're just going to weave into these three slots on the back of the sheath. So you're going to go through the first hole and the second hole. And then you're going to go into your second piece of webbing. And then you're going to come up through that third slot. And then the top is going to go through. You have a big hole here that you usually run the uh, strap through for your sheath system. You're going to run that through that hole. And then you're going to pull everything tight. And then you're going to use the hook part as just kind of like a tape to hold it all in place. And now this is very, very secure. This isn't going anywhere. Uh, I trust that this is going to hold. And then you basically just take your sheath, you run the, the top through, you seat the bottom, snap or close, run your Velcro, and there you have it secured to the Molly webbing. And it's not going anywhere. Okay, so let's see how I can run it through the Molly of my backpack. All right, so I just ran it through the molly of my med pouch just to kind of show you guys. But now I'm going to mount it to the uh, strap of my backpack. And so you can't start, I'm going to put it upside down, but you can't start from the slot. You have to start from the top of the sheath. So again, I'm going to take the hook or the loop side. I'm going to take the soft part and put it towards the strap. I'm going to run it through the webbing and then I'm going to run it through the slots here. So one slot, two slot, and then the second piece a webbing and then to through the third slot. And then I'm going to take the Tag in from the bottom, run it through the top hole, pull everything tight, and then I'm going to use the hook side of the Velcro to tape everything in place. And then another thing that I like is I'm going to take this belt loop and I'm going to slide it just loosely on here. I'm going to run this through the top hole. I'm going to see that through there. Buckle this closed. Velcro this shut. I flipped it around to make it look nice. Okay, and so now this is tight. This isn't going anywhere. And I still have my belt loop. And so when I get to camp and I drop ruck, uh, I can unmount this so I can unmount my knife. I'm going to take the secondary loop, just Velcro it here, and then I have a belt knife. And it's all in its own contained unit here. I don't have to worry about packing this belt loop and losing it in one of my pouches or forgetting it at home. It's right here in the kit ready to be used. And so I like that feature and you can, I've noticed that you can keep that belt loop on there uh, in any carry configuration. So you can always have that with you. So now let's look at what this looks like when it's actually on my back. All right, so as you can see, it's mounted here. I like having it on my right side. Uh, and then because it has that friction fit, I can undo the snap and it's not gonna fall out. 
So if I'm doing work with my pack on, I can leave it unbuttoned and just pull and work and pull and work and put it back. And then when I'm traveling over distance or I'm worried about this thing falling out, I can snap it into place and then it's secure. It's not coming out. And uh, so I really like having that there. Uh, again, it's ambidextrous, so some people would want it on the right shoulder so that they could cross draw it left-handed. And so you can have lots of options. If you're left or right hand carry, uh, if you like to carry it on your left side and cross draw it, you can do that. Or if you're left-handed and you want to pull it, like I do here, you can. Uh, and then again, the belt loop is on here. It does kind of stick out a little bit. I can stick my finger in there. But uh, that doesn't bother me so much. I'd rather have it here with the sheath system than try to find it in my pack or forget it at home. Uh, I'd rather have it stick out a little bit. So that doesn't bother me any. But now let's pretend that this backpack didn't have Molly. Uh, I'm going to show you the second way of attaching this sheath to your pack straps. All right, so before I show you how to uh, attach this the second way, I wanna show you how easy it is to undo the molly uh, with this sheath. So you just undo the Velcro, undo the snap, pull this out, undo the Velcro, and then I just simply put this out of the top and then I just pull and it comes undone. So it's very easy to undo the molly and it's very easy to do the molly too because uh, you don't have to keep it tight. You can keep it as loose as you want and then when, you're, when it's all said and done, you can pull it tight. So even though I can't use fast molly clips, it's still a fast way of attaching this with molly but let's say that this strap didn't have molly on it. What I would do is uh, I can still mount it vertically upside down uh, with these straps here. Uh, it comes with two. And so what you do is uh, some people like to cut these to length. So they'll cut the hook and loop to the right length. But I just simply use the hook and loop to adjust how much hook I want uh, and then uh, I just wrap it around as many times as I need to so I've done this before so I know how much hook I need and so I just do that and then I try to keep the soft loop side on the inside of the sheath just because that's how I do it with the molly so that's how I do it with this as well And then I keep the hook side on the same side so that's just easier for me. All right, and so now, all right, I'm gonna, this is where I would want it, but I wanna show you guys that I don't need this sternum strap to hold this into place because the Velcro falls right there. So I'm gonna straddle this sternum strap uh, so that you can see how secure this holds and so and then I'm gonna leave a little webbing here so you can tell if it falls so basically what I do is I wrap around as much as I need to and then I hook it and then I do the same with the bottom so sometimes it doubles up on itself, but that's fine. That way I'm not cutting it so that I can still use it with Molly. So I can just wrap it around as much as I need to and still have the full length of hook and loop for my Molly. Okay, so you can see here, here let me move the Velcro. So you can see a little bit of the webbing and you can see that it's not touching this uh, sternum strap. So if it slips, you'll be able to see it. And you can tell that I'm not using 
the sternum strap as a crutch to keep it from sliding. So let's, let's see what this looks like on my back. And again, you can put the collar on for the belt loop. It does not get in the way. All right, so this is a little awkward because it's so low, but you can still see that loop there. And so you can still see that it's there. This thing didn't slide, it's not coming off. And I'm not using, you can see the gap here and here, I'm not using this sternum strap as a crutch. Okay, so it doesn't slide. And again, I can keep it open when I'm using it. I can draw it, put it back. It's awkward, it's low, so it's awkward. But you can see that it works really well. I can pull it, use it, put it back. Uh, if, I'm, if there's something going on, I can unclip it to be ready for anything that might potentially happen. Uh, but if I'm traveling distance and I know that I'm not going to need it and I'm scared I might lose it, uh, I can button it up and be on my way and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's the second way of mounting it. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to mount it to a wall or a vehicle. You're going to have to just use your imagination because I don't really see anybody really using that feature. But if you do, it does have those three holes and you just simply put three screws through those holes wherever it is you want it and then you would mount it the same way you see here. So with that being said, this thing is awesome. I really like the sheath system. I really like the options that it has. Uh, and I really, the only thing that the uh, Bushcraft Black has to offer that this doesn't is the Bushcraft Black sheath uh, can carry a ferro rod. It has a ferro rod mount on the side where if you want to get technical, I could mount a ferro rod with this Velcro and the secondary loop, the belt loop here. I could mount a ferro rod to this easily. It wouldn't take much engineering to figure out how to get a ferro rod on here. And so this is, a, I really enjoy this knife. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, I'll card it again or it'll be in the description box. Uh, and the options that this thing has. You know, a lot of you have seen my Rush 24 backpack review where I fell in love with it because of its options. Uh, some of you know that I have the Rush 72 now that I love just as much as the 24 because of the options. And now I have this multi-mount sheath system that I'm falling in love with because of the options. And so there's so much that, uh, comes with this knife and I really am starting to fall in love with it. I really am glad that I took that leap and I bought it and I'm really glad that you guys asked so many great questions comparing my Bushcraft Black to Garberg's uh, and you really pushed me into buying this knife and uh, really doing a true comparison of the two and so make sure to continue to leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. I want to know what you guys think of this sheath system. Do you guys love it or do you guys think it's too technical? What do you guys think? Leave that in the description box below. Then make sure to like and share this video to help spread that knowledge because I know a lot of people get real frustrated on how to use that molly. I was one of them so I know that there's others out there. So make sure to share this video to the people that have this sheath system that are wondering how to use that molly. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. All right, so I forgot to mention something really cool. The uh, hook and loop and the slots in the sheath for the hook and loop uh, is one inch. And so if you have one inch webbing, uh, it'll run through there. And so if you want to get some kind of a clamp system, you know, you can run webbing through there and then attach your clamps. So if you want to turn this into like a boot knife or if you want to go like Tomb Raider style and just attach it to your leg with clips, 
you can do that as well with one inch webbing. And so I think that's another feature of this knife that just makes it that much more versatile. You know, you don't have to use buckles. You can use any kind of clips you want. But if you have one inch webbing, you can run that through any of these slots uh, and it'll work. And so the mounting systems just are amplified by that much more. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate all your guys' support. You guys have really made this channel a lot bigger than I ever dreamed. Uh, I never really thought I'd get a subscriber, let alone the 470 that I have at the moment. And uh, I just want to thank every single one of you. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and liking and commenting. And it really means a lot to me. And I just want to say thank you so much.